think what so basically i met him over discord he was in this christian community that i was in he lives in my area i never met him in person and he just kept on joking that about like these weird things like so basically i told him like hey you can call come over he's like oh no i'll just come over tomorrow we can hang out i'm like yeah that's fine i'm gonna be seeing my grandma feel free to come he's like oh well we're not in a serious relationship yet and then he asked me to rate and i said i can't what would you do if i give you high rate and then he said he would propose and he kept on joking about like wanting to date my aunt and my friends to me that came off as desperate he also like kept on bombarding my friend with like these christian posts my friend's mormon and like saying religion is terrible and stuff like that. So I don't know if he's trying to hit on me or what, but I had to unfriend him. Yep. But after I unfriended him, he sends me a message. Why did you unfriend me? Cry emoji. And I told him, listen, we need to just meet each other in person because I am starting to misread some things you're saying. I know that you're joking, but sometimes it feels like you're not. And he said, really? I've only talked about marriage twice. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, like he was asking me like what my type of guy was, what I see. Like, what I, if I get married in the future and stuff like that? That's why I'm like, wait a second. Is he, like, not telling me straight up if he likes me? I had no clue. And then he basically tells my friend that um, he doesn't even care about me or her. And it's fine. But then he tries to call me and get back in contact with me to work things out. Because we're both in this Christian group. And we basically are in men's now. But I still am just, like, not knowing. Was he trying to flirt with me or not? I don't even know particular story i met this guy in my apartment the first time i met him though actually um was at a cafeteria that i was working at but i never really talked to him i was just like hey okay how are you bye so he helped me bring my um stuff into my grandmother's car because she was taking me home from college for the weekend and he was just like hey if you ever want to jam let me know i was just like i don't know we could just talk at my job because i didn't really know this guy that well and then later on like he saw me like a month later and we were both on the bus together and he was all like giving the bus driver's number to give me for guitar lessons and this is where the online part starts we start texting each other he seems really nice he says he wants to take me to a beautiful waterfall and text me every day but then the texting starts to slow down a few things happened on my end that kind of made it seem a little odd, but I'll get to that one in the next video. Yeah, some of the things that kind of were a little odd was what happened was I was texting my other friend. I can't wait until we move in together into the hard eyes. She's a girl and I was just excited about it. But the problem is I accidentally texted him that and he basically thought that I was trying to have a hookup with someone else or something like that. He didn't say that, but it was kind of obvious. And then I was like, oh, no, no, no. I screenshotted it, you know what I mean? I said, no, 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 I was texting this to my friend. But then in the screenshot, it said I had like over 120 new messages. So he was just like, I didn't know I was talking to Miss Popular. So right then and there, I already looked like a player. Plus at that point, I was trying to do a phone break. So I told him to only email me and I gave him my email address. And I don't know if that sounded sketchy to him too. And I think I was already making a bad impression on this guy. Although he really wasn't that attractive to me and I didn't really feel like he was my type, I definitely thought that he was being genuine and nice to me when we were talking. So I still wanted to continue to like, talk to him and meet up with him again. So after all of that, we kept on trying to find times to meet up. Unfortunately, I was going through a surgery and really couldn't meet up with anybody because I wasn't supposed to be in the car at all. So I was recovering from the surgery and everything. He's being respectful about it. But then like we were about to um, watch a play together and he was on his way to the play. But then he said his car was slipping in the road so we couldn't meet up then. And then I asked him, like you know the charming person I am, if he wanted to hang out with me and my grandma. He said sure and never replied to that message. Again, I think I was making a bad impression. The next thing you know, um, he doesn't message me for two weeks. So I just message him and I'm just like, hey you know what's going on we should definitely meet up and then that's when things go even more south he only texts me about three times a week at this point when he used to text me every single day so at this point i decide that we should all um meet up me two others and this guy the problem is i didn't tell him who else was going to be meeting in this new location which was an owl walk so um 
he texts me when I got to the location and says he doesn't think he can go because he accidentally didn't actually purchase his ticket. At this point, I'm getting kind of annoyed since he's already in the past, even things I didn't tell you, like has not been able to go. Although I was also making bad impressions. But he finally shows up and he realized that the two people that I brought was my over six foot tall black friend who was super handsome and strong and my grandma. And I don't know if I wasn't thinking straight or what, but this probably made him very uncomfortable because after our walk, he never talked to me again, other than like, hi, in my apartment. Hey, so just so you guys know, I forgot to add an important detail with that online stalker session or online stalker dude that I was talking about before. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it. If you haven't, eh, just watch this one instead. So basically one day I was just logging onto my Facebook account, which just so you know, I permanently deleted it. So it's not there anymore, but I got a request from someone that had his first name and my last name. And I literally was just like, wait a second. I think like his bio was saying that he loves me or something. So that's when I knew that this stalker thing was getting into a bit more extreme level, not like extreme where he's like looking at me like through a camera or hacking my phone or anything, but just a little bit creepy. So I definitely just, you mean like reported it and I'm pretty sure that Facebook deleted it.